Hey there, it's Mike Wise with CMG Home Loans and your weekly mortgage update. So this week uh, we're talking about uh, the Fed cutting interest rates. So yes, uh, there's been a lot of talk uh, just with the inflation numbers last week coming down. I'll go into that a little bit later in uh, this uh, presentation. Uh, but uh, the Fed, they're talking about cutting rates. So let's go into it a little bit. Before I get there, though, wanted to show you this CMG is growing so we're uh, we're moving up the ladder here we're top uh, 13 in the nation as far as mortgage lenders in the united states and uh the good thing is, is that month over month quarter over quarter we're doing more and more business and so you can see there's a couple of lenders here that are doing more a lot of them are staying flat or going down we are doing more month over month quarter over quarter in our volume so growing uh, very, very well, adding salespeople, adding loan officers all across the country. Guam is our new office. So we're going uh, into Guam uh, and uh, all other uh, areas here. So we can lend in all 50 states. Uh, it's exciting times at CMG. So we've got lots of great programs uh, that we have to offer. So, so now interest rates, the Fed, well, <clears throat> there's a lot of news Monday, Tuesday, the numbers they basically are the the kind of the news was what is chairman powell what's he talking about what's he saying and basically powell is indicating that the fed they're not going to wait for inflation to get down to the two percent level that was the initial kind of like we need to get inflation down 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 to two percent he's starting to come off of that but inflation is not the only thing that he's worried about. It's the employment numbers as well. And the employment numbers, they are very shaky at this point in time. A lot of inflative numbers, inflated numbers have come out over the last 12 months and uh, lots of revisions down. And so the employment market is not turning out to be as strong as what we thought it uh, would be. So the traders uh, in the bond market, they are thinking that uh, we're going to start to see uh, the Fed cut rates. They say 100% rate cut uh, at the September meeting. So the Fed, they meet uh, in, at the end of July here. Uh, there's, they're not going to lower it July. It doesn't sound like, but it sounds like there's a 100% chance that they're going to lower in September at the September meeting. And it looks like it's going to be a quarter of a percent uh, decrease in the rate. So <clears throat> why is that? Well, a lot of it comes down to the inflation that we were talking about. This is what I showed you guys last week. Not going to not going to stay on this page very long, but basically the core inflation numbers are going down. But if you take out shelter and motor vehicle insurance, everything else is at 0.19 percent. I'm going to show you just a graph of what that looks like here. Uh, in regards to inflation. So the black line, that's your total inflation number. So it's just, you can see how much of a, a impact it was, <clears throat> you know, uh, over 12 months ago, 18 months ago, two years ago, the inflation was getting out of control and it wasn't just the housing. Now, the housing is a lot of it, but it wasn't just the housing. And now when you get over to the far right-hand side over here, you start to see how much of an impact car insurance and shelter costs it's 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 rents it's housing costs that is having it's like 95 percent of the inflation at this point in time so ton a ton of the inflation is in the housing and when you take everything else out yes it is a lot less now your 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 grocery prices you're going out to dinner and eating uh fast food or out to dinner just in general those prices they're still up and they're, they're not going up as fast, but they're still up here. So housing, the, the housing and the motor vehicle insurance, they are having the biggest impact at this point in time in the insurance. What does the impact have on interest rates? Well, when you take a look at this, the treasury rates, they bounced up after the inflation numbers came out last week. The prices, they went up here which means lower interest rates. And they've kind of traded sideways the whole entire week. Today, they dropped down just a little bit here, but uh, the, they're basically going sideways. The yield on the 10-year treasury, it bounced, it hit uh, you know 416 and is now bounced up to 423 where we're standing this morning. But at the end of the day, interest rates, they pr stayed pretty much the same. Uh, they came down just a little bit. You can see last week numbers were at four or 6.85% and they're down to 6.81%.
I would say that you're probably going to see that number jump just back up to the 6.85 number today. But we're, the rates are flat. I think we've seen the highest rates. In fact, let's look at that for comparison's sake. You know, you've seen uh, a year ago, you were at 690 for interest rates. Today, we're at 683. And then uh, the peak is at 8.03%. I think we've seen the peak for right now, unless something drastic changes. Uh, I think we're in good shape with uh, mortgage rates starting to drop from this point on. It's not going to be a fast ride down, but you will see the mortgage rates start to drop. And the uh, first quarter of next year is probably going to be when you start to see some more movement. So keep in mind that uh, the, the bond market is usually ahead of the Fed. And so they're lowering rates before the Fed makes their move uh, because the Fed is kind of telegraphing what they're doing at this point in time. One other thing I wanted to show you before I left here is the completions for single family versus the multifamily. You can see this multifamily, it is, uh, they're, they're adding more apartments, more condos. This is true for where I live here in Thousand Oaks. They're adding more condos, more apartments. There's more availability that is coming on the market here very soon. So what does that mean? That's going to bring down inflation because there's more available units. The house or the, the rent prices will start to come down as there's more available units or they won't go up as fast, I should say. Um, so at the end of the day, more housing, more availability, that's more supply. And then the demand will go start to go down a little bit. But that that is good news that we, we're starting to see some multifamily homes uh, back on the market. So new apartments, new condos, good news. Uh, we need to see more of that in the single family market as well. But uh, we'll, that's uh, time will tell. So anyways, this is Mike Wise. I actually will not be around really this uh, this weekend, uh, not available uh, from the late on Saturday to uh, early on Sunday. Uh, I won't be available. But uh, if you can text me, I will get back to you and uh, make sure that uh, we get your questions answered. So this is Mike Wise with your weekly mortgage update. If you have any questions, we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.